We are on our way to the Norman Man International Airport to collect our UK guests from all the way from England. Charlton Athletics Football Club visiting Jamaica for the first time. This is history in the making, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. So happy to have you with us. We also have Mr. Victor Stewart, who is our Director of Education, and we will be a part of the individuals who will be with you until Friday. You know you look like Emil Smith, bro. Yeah, so we've got obviously match match day minus one, so we've got a game tomorrow against obviously Mount Pleasant. Um, this morning she's gonna get look to get a flight out of the legs for the boys. Um, bit of individual prep, ready to go down, down and do our match prep on pitch. So My name is Daniel Parchment, FIFA referee. I'm in charge for the game between Mount Pleasant and Charlton Athletics. Right, so your thoughts before my thoughts. Talk to me. For me, boys, what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm seeing you guys work hard. You're working hard, you're getting used to the, the climate and you're sweating like anything. Look at you, look at the state here. Where I think that we can be better is one, out of possession. Yes, they've got fast players. Yes, we wanted there, there's a lot of space for them to run into. But the way we nullify that space isn't by dropping off and allowing them to keep coming towards our goal, coming towards our goal, coming towards our goal. Well, we are delighted for this opportunity to be associated with a professional football club from a first world country. Jamaica as a developing nation would be very happy to have any opportunity to play against teams from England, the motherland, right? And it is said that football was invented in England. So therefore, this is a wonderful opportunity for us to expose our team. are at in terms of our pre-season. That's your first full game of football since you've been back in a climate that you're not accustomed to. Look at you, you're sweating, you're dripping, you've had to work hard and it's only two days after we've had 24 hours worth of travel. But I think overall what you did have is you had two football teams trying to play football in the right way, trying to um, impose themselves on the game. And there was moments when we was on top, there was moments when Mount Pleasant were on top. Um, and I think that genuinely what you saw was a good game of football between two very good sides. We started the game well, um, I think we were passing the ball well. Um, it was pre-season, so we just need to keep pushing and dust ourselves down and go again on Friday. I know you're at uh, Nine Mile. Yeah. It's a different uh, scenery, uh, recovery. Uh, what are you expecting now? Well, then I've, I've been here before, so... I think the last time I came here was in 2017. But for me, I know like you know the history and the, everything the boys are about to go up and experience. I think that for a lot of these lads, they don't understand whether it be Jamaica, whether it be Bob Marley, whether it be Marcus Garvey. They don't really understand the, you 
know, the connotations of what the island's been through in, in, in the past. So it's just a small, uh, a small step in, giving them a little bit of knowledge. And then for the rest of the week, we'll go and do other things that continue to build on their knowledge of what it is like to live and be born and grow up in Jamaica for, for the Jamaican people. So that should be good. All right, so welcome you all to the foundation for Bob. My name, Crazy, but my mom, she likes Curtis, okay? Now, if you look at the handband that you receive here, it says nine miles tour. That doesn't mean we're going on nine miles of tour. It's just that you're in nine miles and we're doing a tour, all right? So Crazy is your guy. So the tour we're going on now start right here. And while we start the tour here, this is where Bob Marley, he was born. Right here. Not on the roof, inside. And February 6, 1945. Now, any questions you have, I'm here. If I don't know the answer, I just do as usual. Make something up, okay? Rastafari, we go to Zion now. They're good, they're good. You're good, bro? So, thank you so much for coming and uh, working with me. Uh, the idea is we're going to show some stuff that we do at our club. So, my name's Rhys. Uh, my role at Charlton is I'm called the head of coaching, so I look after all the coaches, support the coaches. I, I've been there a long time, since 2006, so 19 seasons. Now, this is how it works. That ball is the orange ball, yeah? That's your ball. So this is how it works. Just going to work with the oranges. Everybody else stand still. Number one always gets the ball from the outside. So go and get the ball. Three, four, and bounce it out. Number one, show. Um, you know, I think since the first game, we've um, we've got used to the, the conditions a little bit. Um, I think that as a team, we've grown from Monday's game. And I'm hoping that um, in today's game we can we can turn the heat up a little bit, you know. But um, I think getting used to the culture and the conditions in the last couple of days has been like a really a really big big thing for us as a club. Because definitely, like from my experience of being at the club, we've never we've never had anything like this to come to a, a country like certainly outside of Europe. So um, yeah, it's been it's been a really good week for us, and uh, and I'm looking forward to playing in the game today. But not looking forward to going home, so. Whenever I come over to the Caribbean in general, it's like I come back home and, and Jamaica is, is, is home for a large part of my family. So I think that um, yeah, it'll be something that I miss, something that I've enjoyed, but it won't be the last time that you see me over here. My name is Christopher Mason, FIFA referee from Jamaica, doing the second leg of this game, Mount Pleasant versus Charlton Athletic on the 21 team. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. 
And um, so really well done to, to Mount Pleasant. You've given us two very tough games and it's been a real challenge for us to come and compete with you. And we're really grateful for that opportunity. So thank you for that. So guys, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being so appreciative of the efforts that we put out uh, for participating. And I, hope, I really hope that you um, achieve the objective that was set for this visit. And we are really, really, really looking forward to visiting you guys as well.